five, four, three, two, one. The Kong Show and Japan Today present the top five countdown of the hottest new tech toys here in Japan. We're here with Reno Tibke of Akihabara News. How you doing, Reno? I'm fine, Kong. Thanks for having me back on. It's、Always、good to be here. Pleasure to have you with us. Let's get right to the countdown, starting with number five. Okay, number five is a very interesting product that just came out from Sharp. It's the first of its kind. It is a security camera. So this camera from Sharp, it、uh, they just developed it. It's the first of its kind, and what it does, what's special about this camera, is that it's a night vision camera. Obviously, you know, cameras use infrared for that. That's nothing、right. new. The big deal about this camera is that it does infrared in full color. Wait. Yeah. Infrared in full color. Exactly. So we we you know we all we're used to the sort of the greenish、right. infrared images.、Sure. Not this one. This one does full color. Wow. This is going to be very useful for police. For police, yeah. And、uh, you know you could mount it up. It could be security. I mean, I'm sorry. It could be motion activated.、Uh, uh-huh. It could be just on all the time. But in zero light, so it doesn't need any ambient light to pick up. Zero light, full color, infrared, first of its kind. And we're looking at a picture of it right now. How much does this thing run? Well, that's the thing is there are no there's no pricing for this yet. Sharp just announced it, so this is、uh, this is literally cutting edge. It's definitely not on sale yet. Okay. I would say with、uh, within probably six months、okay. could be on the market. Yeah. Moving on to number four. What are we looking at here? Okay, number four is、uh, sort of a goofy gadget, and、uh, we do like to cover just sort of the goofy stuff sometimes at Akia. How about our news?、Mm-hmm. This is a self-heating USB-powered bento box. Now that sounds like you just put a lot of words together. Yeah, yeah, and that's sort of what this company Thanko does: is they they grab all sorts of technologies and just sort of smash them together and see what comes out the other end. What they did in this case is they have an insulated、uh, bento pouch, and、uh, basically what it is is everyone sort of knows what a bento is. That's right, sort of a sure. Global it's a word lunchbox.、Now. Exactly. Yeah. So if you want to, you know, to take your bento to to work, it's、right. going to get cold. Well, if you want to heat it up, say it's 11:30, you're going to lunch at noon. You can plug it into USB power. You could even plug it into your laptop, or if you have a portable battery, plug in your battery, and、uh, there you go.、Heat、This is a、bento. real battery drainer, I guess, right? Well, I would imagine, yes, it is.、Yeah. Uh, so you'd want to definitely make sure you had some.、Uh, you were tethered to electricity when、All、you、right. turned it in. So very cool little gadget. Moving on to number three. Number three. Number three. Okay, number three. Now this harkens back, as the kids say, to the roots of Akihabara News. When Akihabara was about building your own computer, about、mm-hmm. totally geeking out on electronics,、right. uh, before it was about the schoolgirls and outfits and stuff. This is a review that we have of the Shuttle Mini PC. It's a bare bones sort of build your own hardcore. Gaming rig. What are we looking at right now? What is this picture of? What we see here are the two models that were reviewed. So there's one on the left, one on the right. One has sort of a glossy finish.、Right. The one on the left has the, and then the one on the right is sort of a matte finish. And there are two different models of this basically very similar gaming computer. One has a different port and slightly more juice, but they're bare bones. They don't come with a keyboard, monitor, mouse, operating system. These are the kind of things that hardcore gamers will pick up. What about then, videographers? Certainly, certainly.、Yeah. I mean, basically, what it is is a super powerful computer with a really, really good graphics card. How much for this?、Um, they're actually not that much because, again, they're bare bones. So、yeah. the higher end one is uh, about three、uh, hundred and fifty, and the lower is about two hundred and fifty U.S. dollars. Let's move on to number two in the countdown. Number oh, two. Oh, who's this? Yes, yes. Well, this individual is non-existent, but she's right there. Exactly. Yeah. So this is Hatsune Miku, which is.、Um, Hatsune Miku is sort of a force of otaku culture. Hatsune Miku is the personality based around a Vocaloid, which is a synthesized voice. Right. So this character has no human being. The voice behind this character does not have a human being at the other end. I see.、Uh, no, no voice talent like you. You、What? know, like you have so much of. This is no voice talent. This is a, this is an algorithm, a set of algorithms. A computer generates this voice. Now, wow. What's special about this image is up until now. Uh, Hatsune Miku has been rendered in this sort of two-dimensional anime-style、right. image, but、um, one of the more famous、uh, game character designers in the world from Square Enix, his name is、uh, Tetsuya Nomura, and he actually. Rendered this, made this, got this character together for the Hatsune Miku Festival、right. in New York、uh, last month. They just let the video out public、uh, a few days ago. Didn't we see her on the David Letterman show? Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Hatsune Miku, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Okay, there she is. All right. 
That's fine. Like being on Willie Nelson's bus. Indeed. We, we saw the two-dimensional anime version or, right. on, on Letterman, which was hilarious because he's like the elder statesman, you know, of American late-night yeah. TV. You got these two younger guys, but instead the dude who's kicking, knocking the tires on 70, maybe yeah. over 70, yeah. he brought in this sort of, uh, you know, neo-dorky cultural force from Japan to perform. I'm kind of curious, how is this Hatsune Miku better than the characters from, say, uh, Avatar? Well, it's it's comparing, uh, you know, monkeys and oranges. Monkeys and oranges. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, I like, like to that. mix it up. Yeah. You know, the Avatar renders, that that's an entirely different, you know, it's a feature film, right. different level sort uh-huh. of thing. The difference there is that, uh, you know, several hundred million dollars. And the difference here is that this, this particular character has never had this 3D treatment rendered before. So... This is much more of a cultural story than okay. it is a tech story. Well, she looks really good. She's a very attractive young lady. Might we be seeing her in any adult videos? Well, that's a good question, and that's something that was mentioned on our site, actually, is that previous to this render, uh, it was very much a Lolita sort of thing, like she did not look of age. This render, however, changes the game up a little bit. She looks like she could get involved in some, you know, not for... Not suitable for work. Are these her work clothes, though? <laughs> one imagines, yeah. Uh, all right. Let's move on to your number one, number one, number one tech item for this week. Okay. So the number one item is uh, we're jumping into, uh, pres- everyone's sort of jumping into 4K. Right. Uh, 4K being uh, super high resolution video. And 6K is on the way. I'm sure 8K is going to come before 6K comes. Okay. It's going to double before it goes up to the 6, I think. Um, but we've talked about this quite a bit before, right. you know, like w- what the technology is. It's just super, super super high resolution. It's almost to a point where the human eye can't even appreciate it. A lot of people are pushing this stuff out, but what we found is that there's no one really doing just calm, serene, even mundane sort of videos of Tokyo. So a particular contributor of ours started making these 4K videos of just sort of life in Tokyo, but not like the scramble intersection in Shibuya where it's, you know, it looks like the ants are, you know, crossing the streets. Right. Uh, This is, there's shots of temples, shots of Shibuya from the top of a building, you know, much more contemplative. Who's the audience for this? The audience is anyone who's into Japan, anyone who's interested in Japan, what's going on here in Tokyo. And I think ultimately the creator of these videos. We didn't create these videos. Right. Um, we're sharing them through one of our partners. But I think ultimately what he's looking to do is to break into sort of a market for distributing 4K footage of Tokyo. And where can you get this footage? Is it online now? I mean, is it on YouTube? Yes, it is. It's on YouTube. YouTube now has settings for, for 4K video. Wow. Whether or not you have a monitor that can handle 4K video, that, that's another question. But it's quite beautiful. What about Facebook? Facebook, I believe the dude who's shooting it has a Facebook page. For now, if you want to catch a video every week, we'll be posting one every Saturday morning uh, at Akihabara News, and that will be a new 4K video every week. They're about uh, five to six minutes long. And is there sound that goes along with this? Yeah, it's just ambient sound. That's ambient. the uh-huh. that's a different thing. No we have music. a lot of videos. Yeah, mm-hmm. we have a lot of videos on the site. Again, going back to the Shibuya with the giant, you know, sides of buildings covered with television screens, you know, and a pumping soundtrack in right, the background. Right, right. But this is just uh, the ambient sounds of Japan. So not only is he using some sort of high resolution photography equipment, he's also using some high resolution audio equipment, if you will. All so. right, Reno Tipke of Akihabara News. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me here. I look forward to coming on next time. The Top 5 Tech Countdown was recorded live at the Pink Cow in Roppongi, home of live music, jam sessions, and the best burritos in Japan. When you want to taste one of these healthy burritos, come to the cow, the Pink Cow.